Little bear, ready for bed? It's not dark yet. It looks dark to me. Not with all those stars. The stars are bright, that's true. Did you make a wish on the first star you saw? No, I forgot. Do you think I can still get my wish? Hmm, you never know. I wish I was a bird, so I could fly as high as the stars. Oh, that sounds nice. But even birds have to sleep at the end of a long day. I'll help you fly all the way into bed. Higher! Higher! <laughs> Better prepare for a crash landing. <laughs> that was fun. Can we do it again? That's enough for now. Good night, little bear. But I'm not tired. It's time for you to be tucked in, little bear. Shall I read you a bedtime story? I'd rather make a wish. What are you going to wish for? Hmm. Well, I wish I could sit on a cloud and float up to the stars. Maybe you could fall asleep on the cloud. That would be nice. Yes, that would be nice. <laughs> I can see everything. Our house, Owl's house in the trees, the pond where Frog lives. Whoa! Oh! I fell all the way out of the sky. <laughs> well, I guess a cloud isn't the best place to go to sleep after all. No, but maybe I could sleep on the ocean, like Father Bear. You could do that. I could find a Viking boat and sail the seven seas. Ahoy, Vikings! Ahoy, little bear! All hail, little bear, our newest Viking! Yeah! Oh, I'm I'm a Viking bear, yo ho! Oh, I'm a Viking bear, yo ho, yo ho! Yo ho, yo ho! Yeah! Whoa! <clears throat> the Vikings covered me with armor. Armor can be very heavy. That's why you need your rest. I think it's time. But I have another wish. Another one? I wish... I wish I could meet a princess. And where would you meet her? Hmm, let's see. I better find out. It sure is dark in here. Oh, look, a light. Little bear, welcome. The princess has been expecting you. Oh. Hello, honorable little bear. Welcome to my garden. Would you like to join me for cake? Sure. Here you are. <laughs> no, little bear. Those are chopsticks. You use them to eat with. Oh. Normally, I just use my hands. <laughs> it's all right, little bear. It's only my pet dragon. But he ate my cake. <laughs> 
Well, I really should be going now. Thanks for... Oh, I almost forgot to give these back. That's okay, little bear. You can give them to Mother Bear as a present. Thanks. Sorry I can't stay longer. Bye. Bye. Come back soon, little bear. I will. <laughs> the dragon ate my cake. Dragon? Where did you go? To a faraway land where they eat with sticks. China? I think so. A princess gave me some to give to you. Now, where are they? Oh, dear. I must have dropped them on the way back. Well, you can look for them another time. That's enough wishing for one night. But I have one last wish, Mother. Yes, little bear? Could you tell me a story? That's your wish? Yes. A story about me. I think I can grant that wish. Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a little bear who bounced on a cloud. When he bounced too high, Whoa. he fell into the sea. Fortunately, a passing Viking boat picked him up and invited him to join them on a trip across the ocean. They sailed for a long, long time until they reached the shores of China. There, the little bear met a princess, and together they shared cake with a dragon. The end. That was a wonderful story, Mother. I got all my wishes. Thank you. And now, my little bear, I have a wish. You do? What's that? <laughs> I think you know. I wish that you would go to sleep. <sighs> oh, yes, I see. Thank you, my little bear. Good night. What are you doing home so early on such a pretty day? There's nobody to play with. Oh? Where's Cat? He and Al were up all night, and now they just want to sleep. And Hen? She's out doing errands, and Duck's visiting a friend on the other side of the forest. Do you need some help? Of course. As soon as this dries, you can help me give it another coat of paint. What'll I do until then? I don't know. You're usually very good at amusing yourself. Mother <laughs> <laughs> Bear! Just taking a little break. Be back for dinner, little bear. I will. Hey, come back and play. Goodbye, birds. Hello, want to play? Oof! That didn't hurt, did it? I can't jump over you, can I? Now where'd you go? Oh, hello, 
again. Bet you can't catch me. Oh, you caught me. You won't catch me now. Whoa, this is too high. Try to behave. Psst, frog. Someone calling me? It's me, Little Bear. Hello, Little Bear. Nice day. Glorious. A perfect day to sit. Care to join me? Comfortable? Uh, sort of. Now close your eyes and say, Om. Um. It takes practice. Where are you? Right here. I didn't mean you. I've lost my shadow. You cannot lose your shadow, little bear. You don't know my shadow. He's been running away from me all day. You are your shadow, and your shadow is you. I'm not so sure about that. Hey, get out of there. Give me your hand. I'll pull you out. Whoa! <laughs> now where'd you go? Oh. There you are. Are you hungry? There you are. Still want to help me paint? Maybe my new friend can help too. And where is your new friend? Right there, admiring your paint job. <laughs> Look, I have a new friend, too. It looks like our friends could be friends. Anyone ready for dinner? I am. Can my friend stay for dinner? Friend? What friend? He's in the house. Of course, any friend of Little Bear's is always welcome. Come right in. What did you and your friend do all day? We climbed some trees, we played hide and seek, we sat with Frog and went swimming. Sounds like a very busy day. You two must be hungry. I'm hungrier than he is. I'll eat his soup too. Don't slurp, little bear. Sorry. <sighs> you must be sleepy after such a long day. Could I stay up a little longer? Play with my friend before the sun goes down? Don't you think you and your friend have played enough for one day? Hmm, maybe you're right. <sighs> you're back! Are you ready for bed? Hey! <laughs> Little bear, go to sleep. <laughs> what is going on in here? Nothing. Okay, into bed with you. Well, where will my friend sleep? Your friend? Oh, yes. On the floor. Isn't that where he always is when you wake up in the morning? Why did you do that? So he'll be more comfortable down there. Good night, little bear. Good night, little bear's friend.
Good night. See you tomorrow morning, Shadow. It's a perfect cake. That's enough for now, little bear. We want to have some left for Mother Bear's birthday party. <gasps> what is it, little bear? I forgot to get Mother Bear a present. No present. Hmm. Let me see. What could we... I know. I could go find one before the party starts. Good idea. I'm going to find Mother Bear the perfect present. Ah. Sorry. It's a present for Mother Bear. Hello, little bear. Hi, Hen. What are you looking for? The wreath from my door is missing. Who are the flowers for? Sorry, Hen, but these are for... Oh, so fragrant. And the colors. They would look divine on my dining room table. But they're for Mother Bear. Hmm. I don't know. Something a little more... Unusual might be better for her. Actually, something like a picture frame. Mother Bear does have a picture of Father Bear and me that could use a nice frame. Perfect. Well, I better be going home then. I don't want to be late for Mother Bear's birthday party. Is there cake? Yes. Would you like to come? Delighted. Hello, Owl. What are you doing there? Trying to get this thing to work. That's very nice. Thank you. What a beautiful frame. It's my present for Mother Bear. I'm invited to her birthday party. Oh, Mother Bear's birthday. Would you like to come have some cake with us? I'd love to. I could play some music. Uh, of course. But are you sure you want to give Mother Bear that frame? Yes, it's perfect. Yes, it is. Perfect for this view I've been wanting to frame. Isn't it glorious? It is a nice picture. Yes. But... Uh oh and you must see these beautiful seeds I've strung together. This necklace would make the perfect gift for Mother Bear. Take it. Are you sure? It's an even trade. Thanks. Hey, everyone! Wait for me! What's the hurry? We're going to Mother Bear's birthday party. Want to come? Great! That's a lovely sweater. Oh, thank you. The little duckling's mother is knitting it for me. But it's too big. And blue really isn't my color. Can you help me get it off? Oh! What a pretty necklace! Oh! I've always wanted a pretty necklace. <sighs> Mother Bear does like blue. Mother Bear is sure going to be surprised by my present. Mother Bear will look lovely in blue, and I bet it'll fit her just right. Little Bear, what 
What's that? My present for Mother Bear. Isn't it per... <gasps> oh, no. Mother Bear's gift unraveled. I think it's a wonderful gift. I can't give Mother Bear a ball of wool for a birthday present. I love wool. I'll tell you what. I'll trade you this ball of wool for a wreath. A wreath? I found it this morning, over by Hen's house. That's my wreath. Thank you for finding it, Cat. I'm trading with Little Bear for his ball of wool. Do you want to trade the wool for the wreath? What do I need wool for? I'll trade you this necklace for the wreath. What will I do with a necklace? It's a beautiful necklace, uh, but I'm glad I traded it for my picture frame. You have a picture frame? It was my picture frame. Which you know, no, just no, a no, 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 What am I going to get Mother Bear? I wanted to find her the perfect present. Something that I knew she'd like. Something that I picked out myself. I know. I have an idea. Hmm. Where is she? In the bedroom. Little Bear, is that you? Are you ready? Yes. And I brought some friends. I hear voices. What's going on? Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Mother Bear. A wreath. Thank you, Han. Oh, a picture frame. I can certainly use that. Why, Duck, what a pretty necklace. A ball of wool. How nice. Thank you all very much. Happy birthday, Mother Bear. These are for you. You picked these yourself. They're beautiful. This is the perfect gift. Ah. ah. I'm afraid this gift isn't so perfect. Looks delicious. Happy birthday, Mother Bear! It is delicious. 